Hi everyone, an interesting question, easy one conceptually. We will classify the question as a 650 level question because it involves quite a bit of calculation and working through a couple of stages to get to the answer from sequences and series specifically focuses on the idea of arithmetic progressions. What is the sum of all 3 digit positive integers that leave a remainder of 2 when divided by 3? What is the sequence comprise? 3 digit positive integers. What all 3 digit positive integers? No. Those 3 digit positive integers that leave a remainder of 2 when divided by 3. How are we going to proceed? It's probably a 4 step process. In the first step, let us identify the first term of the sequence. Right? That is step number 1. We are going to find out. We will call it as A1 saying that that is the first term of the sequence. The smallest 3 digit positive integer is a 100. Let us divide 100 by a 3. 99 is divisible by 3. 100 by 3, the remainder is equal to 1. What should our remainder be? Our remainder should be equal to a 2. So, this is not what we are looking at. The next number which is 101 when divided by 3 will leave a remainder of 2. So, have we computed the first term now? The first term of our sequence is equal to 101. It is the smallest 3 digit positive integer which when divided by 3 will leave a remainder of 2. What is the next term in the sequence? 101 leaves a remainder of 2. 102 will be divisible by 3 which means 2 more than that, 104 is the next term of the sequence. So, 101 is the first term, 104 is the next term, 105 is divisible by 3, 2 more than that, 107 will be leaving a remainder of 2 when divided by 3, 108 is divisible by 3, 110 will leave a remainder of 2 when divided by 3. So, essentially we are looking at a sequence which starts with 101 as the first term A1, 104, 107, 110. So, all of these are in an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 3. So, first step we wanted to find out A1 and we did that in the process we said we will go to the second, third, fourth term. We computed those terms, realized that these numbers are in an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 3. So, computed A1, we computed the common difference and we know that this is in an AP. So, all of these have been established till now. Second step that we are going to do is to compute the last term of the sequence quickly, what is the largest 3 digit positive integer? 999. 999 is perfectly divisible by 3. So, no remainder. So, you want a remainder of 2, go one step back, go one number back. 998 is my last term of the sequence because this is the largest 3 digit positive integer that leave a remainder of 2 when divided by 3. Do we know the first term? Yes. Do we know the last term? Yes. Do we know the common difference? Good. We established it is in an AP. Let us go and write the formula to compute the sum. That is the third step. In that, that is actually not the third step. We will write the formula and realize something is missing. We will find out what that is. The sum of the sequence is equal to A1 plus An divided by 2 into the number of terms. This is known, 101. This is known, 998. What is not known is the number of terms. So, in step 3, I am going to compute the number of terms in the sequence. How? I am going to fall back on the nth term formula for an arithmetic progression. An is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. A n 998, A 1 101 plus n is what we are trying to find out, n minus 1 times 3. Take this to the left hand side, 998 minus 101 is a 897 is equal to 3 times n minus 1. So, divided by a 3 is equal to n minus 1. 900 by 3 is a 300, 897 by 3 therefore, is a 299, n minus 1 is equal to 299. So, n is equal to 300. So, step 3, we have found out the number of terms in the sequence. We know this, we know this, we have computed this. So, plug it in, compute, get the answer. So, sum of the sequence is equal to the first term 101 plus the last term which is 998 divided by 2 into the number of terms is equal to a 300. Cancels out as a 150. 998 plus 100 is 1098, 1099 is what we have into 150 is the answer. 150 into 1000 is 150,000. 150 into 100 would have been 15,000. It is 1 less than that. So, it is 14,850, 14,850. Add these two, 1,64,850 or 164,850 is the answer. Take a look at the answer options, 164,850, choice B is the correct answer to the question.